next award category is International Education and Training Award for Outstanding International Success in the Field of Education and Training. On behalf of the Australian Chamber of Commerce and Industry, this award will be presented by the Chief Executive Officer, Andrew McKellar. Australian Chamber of Commerce and Industry, uh, again, the program uh, judging sponsor and long-standing supporter of the Australian Export Awards. As Andrew comes to the stage, let's meet this year's International Education and Training finalists. Aki is very pleased to be a judging partner for this year's awards, and we are proud to have been supporting the Australian Export Awards now for more than 60 years. For Aki, open markets, free trade, the rules-based order, it's an article of faith. Uh, and in today's world, that almost makes us members of some sort of weird cult. But the reality is Australia relies on global trade and therefore at any time, if we see tariff barriers going up, uh, if there's uncertainty about the trading conditions or the supply chain, um, then that's a risk uh, for Australia. Now, international education uh, and training, it's one of Australia's largest exports. It's our largest service export worth around $48 billion a year. It's an industry which now almost certainly finds itself a victim of its own success. Uh, at a time when many are warning of the risks of increased global protectionism, our international education and training industry uh, finds itself at risk, uh, not only of barriers from abroad, but potentially barriers from within. Uh, faced with the prospect of institutional caps or an unspecified regime of even tougher quotas, uh, it's an invidious position for many institutions to be in. So for a sector that pr pr prides itself on making Australia and the world a smarter place, I think um, to all of our elected representatives around the room, MPs and senators, whichever state you come from, whichever region you come from, whichever party you come from, please don't make it a choice between dumb and dumber. But for the moment, let's celebrate success. And it's my great pleasure to announce that the winner in the category for international education and training is the Engineering Institute of Technology. I just want to say thank you for the Australian Export Awards. It's a, it's a really huge honour for an organisation like ours. Um, and it's, the, it's, it's a reward for effort for many, many people who work very, very hard all the time in, in many different locations um, in different parts of the world. We specialise in engineering education for students in both the vocational, the vet sector for those, uh, vocational education and training sector, and also the higher education sector, with a really, really strong focus on student support, proper resources, proper courses to enhance the lives of the students in different parts of the world. We have offices in, um, in, in many different locations in Australia. Um, we're based in Perth in, in Western Australia. Um, we have um, campuses in, in Queensland, um, in Brisbane and also in Melbourne. And um, offices in um, um, South Africa, quite a large office in South Africa, um, the United Kingdom. Um, and, and staff in the Philippines and, and, and um, New Zealand and other, we're quite, we're very, um, quite an international organisation um, and it's, um, it's a really, it's a great honour to be recognised with an award such as this um, and it makes a big difference to an organisation like ours and we thank you very, very much for the opportunity. Um, congratulations. Um, you've got, come a bit close to the microphone. Um, how do you select the next market you want to go into? What's, it, what's the process? You must have it down pat now with, <laughs> with so many countries very, you've gone. Yeah, no, and it's, it's, it's a good question. So we've got a CEO called Stephen Mackay who's very driven and focused. Um, and we're increasing our presence at the moment in the United Kingdom. We see an opportunity in the United Kingdom to, um, to you know, have a bigger presence there. Um, just 
you're looking at opportunities, looking at where there's a market, where there's interest. Um, also in Southern Africa, we believe there's a, a, a really strong opportunity in, in, in places like Botswana. We have a strong presence already in, in Southern Africa, um, but we're looking at other um, locations as well around those areas. Yeah, it's a great story. Congratulations. Thank you. Well done.